Wow! Look, this is the building which gave Vitya its nickname, a town under one roof. Isn't it amazing? Hello friends, a very warm welcome to all from 60 and Travelling. I'm Sunita and I'm Rajiv. Friends, today we are going to take you to a small cute town in Alaska which is uh, surrounded by towering mountains and a large number of glaciers. Vitya is a very convenient day trip from Anchorage. The drive is just under 90 minutes and it is one of the prettiest drives in Alaska. Right now we are standing in front of the Explorer Glacier. It's quite a huge one. And it's quite... there is another glacier, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Maybe yes. Or maybe the same glacier. And we have the ice blue lake behind us. standing in front of uh, a number of glaciers. There are three glaciers which are visible from this point. Yes. The one right behind us, this portage. Portage. Portage glacier. Glacier. Then we have the Burn Glacier and this is... The burn Glacier? Burn. Oh. I, this is what they were Perhaps saying. that's the name, Burn Glacier. And, and the third one is? Third one, I don't, I don't remember the name. But the, you can see the three glaciers around? Just behind side us. Side by side three this glaciers. Being, I think this is the biggest. And then there's one more here. So again, I don't know what, I don't know the name of that. So I think there are five or six glaciers around this area. But the size, the lake, just behind us is yeah. the lake as well. And the uh, scenic beauty here is absolutely stunning. Mind ball. Yeah, so yes. many ice, I mean uh, glaciers alongside, and and a fast flowing river. There. No words to describe yeah, to what describe we the This tunnel is known as the Anton Anderson Memorial Tunnel, leading through a mountain to a small town of Vitya. And uh, this is 2.5 miles long. And it is a one plane tunnel. And it is shared by both cars and the Alaskan Railroad. And it is one of the longest highway tunnels in uh, North America. Isn't this amazing? Till just 15 years ago, the only way to reach this Vitya village or rather town used to be either by way of a boat or a train. That too if weather permitted. 
then alaska converted a world war 2 rail tunnel to handle cars the drive through this single lane tunnel is strictly regulated so much so that you can not enter the town after 10:30 pm and you will have to sleep it out in your car till next morning driving through this one way tunnel shared by rails and cars is definitely a unique adventure to experience Whittier is the cruise port for Anchorage, making this small town one of the busiest ports in Alaska. Wow! Many of the Alaskan cruises that cross the Gulf of Alaska arrive or depart from Whittier. That's amazing. Whittier is known as a gateway to Prince William Sound, which is teeming with stunning scenery, glaciers, and marine wildlife. Another view of the Whittier town, which is apparently a major port. Mm. Even big ships are parked here. Cruise, park, yeah. cruise big, big cruise ship is parked here in the background. So it's a important port for um, people traveling to other destinations. No tourists here. A lot of tourist traffic here. That appears to be the main, one of the main industries here. The Whittier town is cut off from the rest of the world in many ways. The snowfall here is a staggering 22 feet annually, almost the height of a double-story building. Right now, we are at Vitiya town. It's a small town in uh, Alaska state of USA. And the uh, most important aspect about this town is this: that it is surrounded by glaciers on all sides. We are told that there are 26 glaciers in all surrounding this town. As you can see, if you, if you pan the camera all around. Yeah, there would be glaciers in every direction, right. and lot of <coughs> waterfalls as well. Another uh, very interesting aspect about the town is its population. It's a small town with a tiny population of, we are told around two hundred and seventy-five odd people. Wow! 
and um, even more important is the fact that all the residents of this town stay in one single building. Just see, one single building, almost 90, not all, but let us say almost 90% of the residents occupy this building which we see in the camera right now. And it is a self-contained building with its own shop. With its own they have a bank as well. Yeah. bank and what not. So all the necessities are provided for here in this building. This is really amazing. I've never heard of anything like this before. Yes. yes. <laughs> And what a location, yes. surrounded by mountains on all sides. Residents, however, don't have to even leave their building for anything. That is so because shops, school, city government, indeed everything functions within one self-sufficient structure called a 14-floor Birgitsch Tower Incorporated, BTI in short. And the building does look of us. This apparently is the old building which has now been abandoned. Yes. So has. nobody stays there. This old building called Buckner Building was used as a military facility during World War II but had to be abandoned after an earthquake in 1964. Uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, the video and uh, and if you did then please like share and comment and do subscribe too yes and uh, have a great day have a great day bye bye